So yeah, the prediction in my numbers don't lie video didn't quite pan out. Well, can't blame a guy for trying to extrapolate, can you? Can you? Oh, and by the way, thanks for watching that video, you guys rock! And nobody is trying to pressure Team Cherry in releasing the game earlier than absolute perfection, like anyone could, the audacity. There is no rushing perfection, so it'll be done when it's done, but nonetheless it doesn't hurt to guess when that'll be, does it? I listened to an interview on the Indie Gamer channel with Leth, the marketing guy from Team Cherry, and yeah, for Hollow Knight he was posting pictures every week to create hype, but for Silksong this isn't really necessary because people are hyped up already enough. Check out that interview by the way, it's nearly 3 hours but it's well worth it. During the interview the guys at the Indie Gamer said their predictions for the game, but in no way were they trying to get any sort of response out of Leth, so that was nice of them. Oh, and on a side note, Leth jokingly said, you want to know whether it's a prequel or a sequel? So it's still really up for debate it seems. To me that sounds like it's not really clear cut yet. But in any case, I've heard good arguments either way in the meanwhile. But back to my second attempt at extrapolating the release date. I think it's plausible that it will be announced at the upcoming E3, as it's one of the biggest venues and one of the best places for such a grand announcement. With the release of Silk Song, new crowds will be drawn to Hollow Knight as well, I'm sure. Imagine those lucky bastards being able to experience that for the first time again. <sighs> During the interview, Leth also mentioned that Team Cherry took a few weeks off recently, and nobody deserves it more than them, but if I may speculate for a minute, like I'm doing anything else, I do think they're fairly close to the finished product. Nobody apart from them has a good view on it, but on E3 it will be two years since we saw that awesome demo. I do suspect the game to be bigger, and that in of itself is mind-boggling, because Hollow Knight already provided us with so much content. But yeah, I've got my fingers crossed for E3. Come on guys, throw us a bone! There has been so little news, so I'm clinging to this hope. Let's extrapolate, shall we? Last year there wasn't an E3, but these were the titles that were announced at 2019's edition with their respective release dates. E3 started on the 11th of June that year, so when we add the number of days that all of these titles were released after the start of E3, we can get a view on how long the wait was on average that people needed to endure for a specific title that year. In this case it was 121 days. When we apply the same logic to this year's E3 that'll start on the 12th of June, that means that the average release date would be the 11th of October. So what do you guys think? Will it be A. Before the 11th of October? B. After the 11th of October but still in 2021, so maybe like a Christmas gift? C. 2022, maybe the 24th of February, five years after the masterpiece we all love, or D, 2023 for the gringes among you guys. Please let me know in the comment section what your answer is and is that your final answer? Thank you guys for watching and remember, stay bulging.